customs, of course, you have multiple requirements. Um, and there's a lot of repetitive work that gets done at any kind of custom station, be it an airport, a border, a land border, or a sea border. As you can see here on this quick depiction, um, what we're trying to automate using AI is the inspection. Um, the initial analytics, you know, pre-inspection and analysis, risk analysis of uh, customs border requirements. And luggage inspection, for example, individual, what we call API, advanced passenger information inspection. So all of these things happen um, at a customs border, be it airport or land border, and uh, introducing artificial intelligence to it, um, you know, re automates the repeated processes to make them more productive and uh, of uh, more accuracy. Another application of uh, enterprise intelligence is how to add intelligence to autonomous vehicles. This is an example of autonomous vehicle from our partner Neolix, and we cooperate with them by adding our communication technology 5G and AI intelligence to it to do specific actions. Um, some of the actions for public safety, for example, this vehicle can be used for patrols in a city. Um, it's a level four autonomous vehicle capable of 24 seven operation. So you can change batteries very quickly, slide in, slide out, and it can continue operating. And uh, when it does these patrols, um, it can look for all kinds of anomalies out in the, v in the streets, um, record videos, collect license plate information, and so on. Not everything a normal patrol would be doing, it can do autonomously 24-7. Other applications are in a smart city, um, where you can use it from a municipality perspective, you know, looking at buildings from a building inspection point of view, um, you know, fallen trees, debris on the roads, anything that needs action from a municipality point of view. So there's multiple things that can be trained on the AI. Like I said, it's trained on the cloud and then inferenced inside the vehicle using edge computing, which we provide. Communication back to the head end is using 5G technology, and this helps it navigate, uh, provide positioning, and real-time information. Okay, there are many applications of smart campuses. It could be for an airport, it could be a campus of a university, or it could be a business campus. And campuses usually have many subsystems. I mean, security systems, wireless system, asset management system, I mean, fire, building management, asset tracking, and so on. So how do you keep you know, an overview of all the systems at the same time? So what we've created here is we call it an IOC, Intelligent Operation Center, and it's specifically designed for smart campuses. It gives you an overall three-dimensional view <coughs> of the campus, and all systems are integrated. So this is the initial dashboard. It shows you, for example, how many um, people are actually on site right now, um, how many people, how many cars are in the car parking. And you see there's multiple menus which shows us different types of subsystems we can zoom into. Um, for example, if we go into security management, <coughs> it gives you directly a view of the building itself. And you can zoom in directly, and here, for example, is zooming in on one of the particular turnstiles within the building. And you can click directly on the video, and you get immediately a video of that area, of who is entering, and so on. Now, all these systems are interlinked, We're using artificial intelligence to cross-correlate information, and to be able to make the informed decisions using that data um, with a, for a management point of view for overall decision making. Another application of smart campuses is what we do for schools and universities. And what we're looking at here is providing new type of infrastructure which does not require the traditional uh, core aggregation and edge layer. What we're doing here is using passive fiber optics. And basically what we're doing is we're going from the data center straight to a room. For example, these used to be the existing uh, edge rooms and uh, now you don't require them anymore. So you go straight to a, a room, for example, which is a, a classroom. Um, you'd have an optical network terminal there and you integrate all the devices you need. This provides multiple advantages. Uh, first of all, it is future-proof because the fiber is there forever and all you have to do is update or upgrade equipment when required. So there's no end of life of an uh, overall solution and the solution can be you know, updated as and when required with the latest technology as you go.
Hello and welcome to the Intelligent Transportation Stand at GTEx 2020 in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Um, today I would like to share with you some of the fantastic uh, uh, digital transformation work we're doing with our customers to help them realize the vision of a smart airport. Um, as you're aware, you know, the industry is going through a lot of challenges uh, with digital transformation for airports because of um, the lack of uh, proven reference cases that they can use as templates. So that is up till now. Now I think they have a reference because um, for the last couple of years we've been working with Shenzhen Airport, deliver 100 projects within two years to allow them to realize their vision of a smart airport. And I would like to share the solutions that we've delivered, which focus on three particular areas very close to airports. Well, one is the passenger experience. Secondly, the operations in the airport for efficiency. And thirdly, the security and well-being of passengers and staff. So I'd like to start then by taking you through the passenger flow. So as an IAT, a strategic partner, we, uh, we've been contributing to the industry and we understand the checkpoints at which the passenger needs to be monitored to allow them to seamlessly negotiate all the passenger checkpoints. But we, additionally, what we do is we also uh, are able, with our solutions, to locate the passenger between the checkpoints using facial recognition so that if the allure of shopping proves too much for the passengers and they are late for their flight, we are able to efficiently locate them and bring them to the airline, preventing delays. We also have something called the flight information display screen, which allows them to look into the screen and a picture of their map and their gate and their current location is provided uh, to them so that they can easily navigate towards the boarding gate. Um, We've had a lot of experience uh, working with public operators at airports and also with airlines. And I'm going to show you an example of where we've implemented this solution at Beijing Dashin Airport, one of the biggest airports in the world. Please enjoy this video. I'd like, now like to focus on some of our solutions that we help develop for operations. Um, queue management solution is a very hybrid solution which helps the operations within the terminal building. So it allows the airport to monitor the queues and the availability and utilization of the check-in counters. It allows you to gather the stats and the main key performance indicators and share those in real time 
with uh, management and other teams so that you're able to transform insight into foresight and better utilize the equipment within the terminal. I would also now like to uh, introduce you to the plane journey because we have passenger journey but uh, not, not enough focus has been provided to the end-to-end -end plane journey and in the plane aircraft or the plane journey we have several solutions which guide the airport upon landing to the stand and allows for all the different services to be performed efficiently and safely to reduce the amount of time and fuel that the aircraft uses when it's on the ground. And I will take you through some of the demos in more detail for each of these solutions that we've delivered, along with the benefits. We are able to converge all the data from all the operational systems into a digital platform which we can then use to share information about uh, where the ground services equipment is and to allow the efficient uh, mapping of planes arriving to the stands that are most suitable for them to be serviced at as part of the AI turnaround. And what this allows us currently is to allow more flights to be docked because in some cases where there are flight delays, the airport has to change over and reschedule all the flights to new stands. And this can take a number of hours. But with this application, what we can do is we can do it all within a couple of minutes. And I'd like to show you a video demo of how this works. Why stop at um, uh, stand allocation? What we can do now is we have developed um, applications with Shenzhen Airport and a number of our airport customers to allocate better utilization of check-in counters, security checkpoints, boarding gates, baggage cruisers. So the idea is to, with the big data and the intelligence that our solutions can provide. We're able to provide guidance tools for better management and utilization and allocation of the airport's resources. I would also like to introduce you to our automatic no data collection solution. So 
In the last 20 years, uh, what's happening with the turnaround hasn't really changed much. You know, you have um, staff with lists and there's a lot of manual processes. You have the ACARS, which is a system that was established in 1978, which is the aircraft uh, communication address and reporting system. And what that, that doesn't efficiently translate all the information that the people need from the aircraft to allow the activities to perform efficiently enough. So what we've done is we've used AI and machine training and video to recognize and train all the different milestones that happen in the turnaround, such as refueling and uh, baggage loading, offloading, and passenger offloading and loading. And we've timestamped those activities so they're a lot more clearer and they can be kept in future reference for uh, later reference. And I will now share with you uh, the solution that we provided. So you can see is uh, every time that the aircraft uh, activity at turnaround is identified, you will see a rectangle appear there and this is the solution then allows each of these essential activities to be time stamped and put away. And what this does is it resolves a lot of uh, disputes and training challenges that the staff have and everything is visible and the level of situational awareness at the time, real time, and also afterwards as a source of reference is valuable to not just the airports, but also to the ground handlers and also to the airlines as well. The benefits of this solution translate to allowing more than 10,000 passengers, um, more capacity um, and better efficiency as well. And you can see the passengers in the uh, boarding now on the same plane and as that the door shut and that plane it reverses, that is the end of the recorded process. And this is an archive for future reference or training purposes. Okay, I would also like to share with you our intelligent operation center solution. This is also called the digital twin in the industry and what it does is it um, converges all your data from all your systems across your airport to provide real-time situational awareness not just in the air but also on the apron because uh, for too long now we've not been able to monitor everything in real time in the airfield and according to the IATA damage report that's where most of the incidents with aeroplanes occur, on the airfield. But also inside the building as well. We're able to monitor the security, the check-ins, the boarding gates using the same uh, one-view, one-click policy. We can also bring in all the KPIs in the command center to allow uh, better support for decision-making and ensure that you know, we can bring actionable intelligence to the table. And again, this is... Um, I think the result of you know, a lot of expertise, not just in technology, but in connectivity as well, and experience of digital platforms. Baggage carousals, uh, another very important point of allocating the right resources to ensure that you're able to be flexible. We realize um, security is a very important aspect of any airport, and what we provided our airport customers with is a whole security operations solution from which they can actually um, look not just at uh, what's happening in the airfield but also monitor passengers and behavior. I'm going to share a video of uh, some recent very good collaboration we've done in the security area with one of our strategic customers. Please enjoy.
Group Security is an umbrella organization within the Ambrose Group. It looks after the whole of the security requirements for the group, not only for Amherst Airline, but also for the other businesses within the group. Our relationship with Huawei has um, started a few years back, just about planning and about the vision, about things we want to do in the aspect of uh, technology. One of the things that actually convince us to move forward with Huawei is their forward thinking and their investment in research and development. And having a partner that puts in efforts in R&D means that your system is based on an open architecture, it is scalable, and if you have new technology coming in, it is easier for you to upgrade it because you have a partner that not only install it, configure it, as well as looking forward to upgrade the system. The team from Huawei managed to respond to our call for customization as well as the challenges to be resolved in a very prompt and efficient manner. That is a plus point. Huawei, as well as our other partners, were instrumental in actually bringing this together. Huawei, without a doubt, really came to the table supporting us and ultimately the end client, Emirates Group Security, in a very scalable, formidable platform from which we could build the physical security information management system and the other sensors that are brought into the operation center which really now gives Emirates Group Security an absolute leading edge with regards to information, data, and how they can then make informed decisions in a very timely manner in a secure environment. Emirates Group Security is uh, Huawei uh, one of the most strategic customers. And really, I always say that uh, congratulations for the Emirates Group Security. This uh, project, we coordinate together to finish the first steps of digital transformation. And uh, I would say that uh, from, from Huawei side, we are willing to deploy more urgent technologies uh, like 5G, cloud, and AI to support Emirates Group Security to finish and, uh, this journey of the digital transformation. And I think we are going to have more cooperation and coordination together. The solutions that I've shared with you are only possible because of the digital platform that uh, Huawei have uh, developed and this platform consists of the emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, cloud, 5G, big data and what we're able to do is leverage those technologies to allow and help airports to develop these smart services and important, uh, importantly make them scalable for future use as well. So I'd like to share with you here just some of the uh, 5G, AI and cloud solutions that we are currently working on in the airport. So just very briefly, we realize how important fuel costs are on the, uh, for an aircraft. And what we're doing with this solution, aircraft ground lighting is guiding the airplanes that land to the most efficient pass to the stand and this allows them to save up to about 40% in fuel costs on the ground but it's also a green and a sustainability initiative that's much cool for in the industry. Also using the low latency and the high bandwidth that 5G has to offer, we're able to look after our passengers and ensure that any uh, shuttle Buses that are operating and carrying passengers have their driver monitored to ensure that safety is paramount and any issues are identified and resolved as soon as possible. In fact, before they become issues. I've spoken to you about the aircraft journey and the passenger journey. We also have been working on the bag journey as well. 
we believe as part of um, the bag journey, it, we need to look at more ways and solutions of more efficiently um, transporting the baggage to the plane. And what we're doing at Shenzhen Airport is we developed, again using 5G and AI and our global positioning system uh, solutions to bring the baggage to the plane autonomously using the transportation. So with all these solutions that I've shared, um, I think uh, digital transformation of uh, smart airports is indeed possible now. And it's something that, you know, we're looking to share our solutions and experience further in the industry and look forward to sharing it with more and more airports so that we can help come out of this era of challenges. But what we can do, I'll do now is leave you with a summary video of Shenzhen Airport and some of the solutions that you've Take you through those.